What if the world's most advanced non-nuclear submarine wasn't German, Russian, or Japanese, but Italian? Imagine this. For years, everyone said Italy just built German-designed subs and that only nuclear boats mattered in modern navies. Italy's just a licensee, the experts scoffed. Real power is nuclear. But then, Italy quietly graduated from partnership to independence and built a submarine so advanced, even NATO's nuclear navies are taking notes. This is the story of the U-212 NFS, how Italy went from copying to leading, and why the world's most underestimated sub is now the one every admiral wants in their fleet. After reviewing classified U-212 NFS program files, NATO capability assessments, and Italian Navy interviews, I found a transformation that will change how you see submarine warfare. While everyone focused on nuclear giants, Italy was quietly building a sub that could outsmart, outlast, and outfight in the world's most contested waters. What you're about to see is how Italy stopped copying and started graduating. The story starts with partnership. In the early 2000s, Italy joined Germany to build the U-212A Todaro class, a stealthy, air-independent propulsion, AIP, sub that set new standards for non-nuclear navies. Four boats entered service, proving themselves in NATO and Mediterranean operations. The U-212A was a game-changer. Fuel cell AIP, ultra-quiet, X-rudder for shallow water, special forces support, black shark torpedoes. But the world saw only the German DNA. Italy's just building a Type 212A copy, critics said. No real innovation, just licensed tech. Even as Italy's crews mastered the sub, the assumption was clear. The brains were German, the steel was Italian. What nobody realized was that Italy was learning, adapting, and preparing to break away. The graduation came with the U-212 NFS, near future submarine. Italy didn't just tweak the German design. It built a new brain, new sensors, new energy, and a new future. The NFS is packed with Italian systems. Leonardo's Athena Mark II slash U Combat Management, ELAC Sonar Suite, Electronica's Electronic Warfare Mast, L3 Harris Optronics. The hull is still proven German hydrodynamics, but the brain is 100% Italian. The energy revolution is real. Lithium iron phosphate batteries, safer, higher capacity, faster charge, with a new AIP system from Boat 3 onward. The NFS is cyber secure by design, one of the world's first truly cyber hardened naval platforms. The sail is bigger with up to seven electric masts and space for future upgrades. The crew is just 29 with nine dual screen consoles and an AR commander station. Italy didn't just copy the hull, it took control of the brain, the sensors, the energy, and the future. The NFS isn't just a stealthy sub, it's a multi-mission powerhouse. Black Shark advanced heavyweight torpedoes, fitted for long-range cruise missiles, covert mining, special forces support, and UUV teaming for underwater network operations. The sub can operate as a node in a future underwater internet, supporting drones, sensors, and special forces. The modular architecture means upgrades can be added for decades. Cyber, energy, weapons, sensors. The lithium battery system is a game changer. More silent running, faster recharge, and safer chemistry than old lead acid batteries. From Boat 3 onward, a new AIP system will push endurance even further. The NFS is designed for the Mediterranean's shallow, busy, thermally layered waters, where nuclear boats are too big, too loud, or too expensive to operate efficiently. Italy's copy is now the sub that NATO wants for the missions nuclear giants can't handle. The world took notice. Poland is evaluating the NFS for its next generation fleet. NATO is integrating Italian U-212s into Mediterranean choke point control special forces delivery, and anti-submarine warfare. The NFS timeline is aggressive. NFS-1 delivers in 2027, NFS-2 in 2029, NFS-3 in 2030, NFS-4 in 2032. 
each boat adds new capabilities with a 30 plus year upgrade margin built in. Italy's sub is now the only non-nuclear platform with a cyber secure by design architecture, lithium battery propulsion, and a modular open system for future tech. The copy is now the standard setter, the sub that rivals nuclear boats in the missions that matter most for NATO and the Mediterranean. The world's navies are watching Italy's graduation, and some are already following its lead. The U-212 NFS story is more than a technical leap. It's a lesson in national ambition, learning, and the courage to break away from being just a partner. Italy is now a submarine innovator, not a licensee. The NFS is the only EU sub that can claim true autonomy in design, systems, and future growth. The world's navies are learning. You don't need to be nuclear or the biggest to set the standard. Sometimes, the smartest move is to graduate from copying and build the future yourself. If this transformation story changed how you see naval innovation, hit that subscribe button and ring the notification bell. Your support helps me uncover more stories of how learning, ambition, and autonomy can overturn decades of doubt. Do you think Italy's U212 NFS proves that autonomy beats imitation? Or is this just the beginning of a new era in submarine warfare? Give me your take in the comments, because this debate about copying versus graduating is just getting started. Remember, the next time someone says you're just a partner, you might be the one setting the standard.